You're listening to the Astromami Daily Horoscope, a forecast that hopes to shine a light in the dark, helping us all see where we've been, where we are, and where we're going. Whether you're a first-time listener or a long-time subscriber, thanks for being here. I truly appreciate you being in the Astromami community. I hope you enjoy today's horoscope and card reading. If you would like to support the Astromami newsletter, there are several ways to do so. Subscribe on Substack, share it with a friend, schedule a reading, check out my family's Etsy shop, Metaphysical Flamingo, or just leave a tip. Without further ado, here is the Daily Horoscope. Moon's ingress into Scorpio and the sun's ingress into Sagittarius, a hero's battle against inner demons. Daily horoscope for Monday and Tuesday, November 21st through the 22nd, 2022. Good morning, friends. Well, it is Thanksgiving week and my birthday week, so I am getting excited. I love Thanksgiving and I love my birthday. I love eating stuffing and I love making pies. So much to do. Okay, Our Black Friday sale will begin on November 25th and go until December 12th, 2022 in the Family Etsy shop. Select items are 20% off and there is free shipping on t-shirts, hoodies, and beanies. Please come and show your support by liking the shop to help the Etsy algorithm. Thanks so much. Because I am only posting on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from now on until January 9th, I will divide the horoscope up by day, pull a card for each day, and offer a short interpretation. That way, if you'd like, you can still read or listen to the daily horoscope. Okay, let's get into the astrology. Monday, November 21st, 2022. Well, today is an interesting day. We are still in the honeymoon phase of Sun Trine Jupiter, feeling lucky, honorable, and prestigious. The Sun is in the last degree of Scorpio, and the last degree of any sign brings with it a certain amount of pressure and intensity. Mercury and Venus are conjunct in Sagittarius, helping us see the big picture in matters of love, relationships, money, and how we communicate. We are trying to be more humorous and jovial, even when things stress us out. So I feel that these two transits are positively underlying the day's energy, but the moon is entering a bit of a stressful period. This is like a Lord of the Rings day. Well, the next couple of days, really. If you are familiar with the Lord of the Rings movies, then you may understand what I mean by that. But if you are not, let me clue you in. Frodo Baggins is a cute, humble hobbit who is burdened with carrying the last ring of power, the One Ring, to the fires of Mount Doom from whence it was forged in order to destroy it. If he succeeds, then all will be well in Middle-earth, and if he does not, then the Dark Lord Sauron will rise again. Dun-dun-dun! So basically, it is an epic hero's journey type tale, and Frodo has to defeat many evils along his path, including facing his own inner demons. That's what today and tomorrow may feel like, and here's why. The moon today made a square to Pluto and Capricorn early this morning at 6.13 a.m., and then she went void of course and will stay that way until she ingresses into Scorpio at 12.14 p.m. Eastern Time. This is like when Frodo puts on the ring of power when he's trying to escape the wraiths that are chasing him, and he sees the world through the dimension of the ring. It's both scary, but also gives him a taste of power that leaves him a little bit drunk. The moon is traveling through the Via Combusta, the Burnt Path, which is from mid-Libra to mid-Scorpio and is said to be a very stressful place for the moon. This is like the whole Lord of the Rings journey. The whole thing is stressful, and there are many craggy, burnt-up-looking places along the way as well. She will also be in her fall once she is in the sign of Scorpio. A planet in its fall is like someone who has fallen from power and is feeling forlorn, brokenhearted, and sorrowful. When Frodo realizes that every time he puts on the ring, it actually weakens his resolve, he gets super stressed out and cheerless, two emotions that are very foreign to hobbits. She will also be entering her balsamic phase, which is her dark moon phase that happens every lunar cycle right before a new moon. This marks a time of letting go of the past to make room for the future. Okay. So the moon makes a square to Pluto, is in the Via Combusta, in her fall, and also in her balsamic phase. This is a lot of stress, fear, and weakness for the moon. But have no fear, Astro Mommy is here. Okay, but really, this is going to be a test of our resolve. Today and tomorrow could be very emotionally charged because this could feel like a spiritual rebirth of sorts. All of these conditions of the moon could mean that we have to face our fears head on in order to get through to the other side, which is to a hopeful, optimistic, and cheery new moon in Sagittarius happening on Wednesday. Also, I should note that the moon by late Monday night will make two Sesca quadrates to both Mars and Neptune, which are both retrograde and also still in a square aspect to each other by degree. The moon is going to reactivate this square. This could create some sort of delay or frustration. It's like you are already doing something and then you get interrupted by something and then you have to stop doing what you were doing and wait until later to resume. All in all, Monday could feel like an emotional test. Focus on the big picture and use your sense of humor to pass it. Let's move on to the card for the day. What is the guidance for today? Eight of Wands. 
On this card, we see eight wands flying in the air, coming down from the left. In the background, there are hills and a winding river with trees. This card simply means fast change or news coming in quickly that will alter or disturb the current serene environment. Wait to see what information comes in before making your next move. This card could also indicate air travel. So we may receive a message today or in the next eight days, weeks, or months that creates a change. Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022. Another Lord of the Rings day, but hope is on the horizon. The moon is still in all of those challenging conditions that I mentioned yesterday, so she's not out of the dark woods yet. But if we look on the bright side, focus on the big picture, and try to find the silver lining, we will make it through. The sun makes her ingress into Sagittarius today, early in the morning at 4.20 a.m. Eastern Time. I will be posting my Sagittarius Celebrity Blind Contour drawing mugs on Tuesday, so keep an eye out for that announcement, as well as the New Moon Poetry Word List. The sun in Sagittarius brings in the Cavalry of Centaurs. One of the warriors of justice in the Zodiac, the sign of Sagittarius does not fear the dark because Sagittarius is full of optimism and righteousness and aims high in life. This energy will help a lot, in my opinion, but I could be a bit biased because I am a Sagittarius, so we'll see. Still, my feeling is that we need to believe in the good in the world, in ourselves, and in others, and that Sag energy will help us unite together in a way that only Sagittarius can. It is the time of year when the air is starting to feel more winter-like, but the leaves are still falling. Sagittarius season marks the changing of the season from fall to winter and lights a fire that will carry us through the long, dark, and cold nights. We need to fight for this flame of hope and keep it burning, for the sun will rise again in the spring and dominate once more. We are the Frodo Baggins of the world, and we need to keep the faith that we will make it to Mount Doom, destroy the One Ring, and save Middle-earth. Sagittarius knows this journey of the hero all too well, because it is not just a fairy tale. It is a way of existence, right? Let's move on to the card for the day. What is the guidance for today? Ten of Wands reversed. On this card, we see a man trying to carry ten large wands, but he is having a really hard time and looks as if he is about to drop them. In the upright position, this card usually means trying to carry too many things and feeling overburdened with responsibility. In the reverse position, it also signifies this feeling of carrying all the burden, but it is a reminder that you need to delegate and spread out the work so that you are not doing it all yourself. A perfect card for Thanksgiving week, wouldn't you say? I would love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment or join the new chat and let us know what you think there. I hope this is helpful. Until Wednesday, Astro Mommy. Today's and tomorrow's horoscope was brought to you by the moon making a square to Pluto while in the last degrees of Libra and then making her ingress into Scorpio, the sign of her fall, and the sun's ingress into Sagittarius. Quick links and resources can be found at the bottom of the newsletter. Today's card was pulled from the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot, available on Amazon. If you purchase anything through the affiliate links that I provide in the newsletter, so we'll make a small commission that there are no additional costs to you. I don't share, I recommend things that I don't 100% believe in and use myself. Thanks for listening.